Well, earlier this week in our Tejano Moments segment, we introduced you to a Texas hero, Don Jose Antonio Navarro. Now we talked about who he was and what led him to signing the Texas Declaration of Independence. Now in a part two of our series, GMSA producer Rosalind Jimenez tells us about his political experience and how it helped him become a state leader. Don Jose Antonio Navarro was not only a Texas revolutionist, but a politician as well. He was first elected as a city councilman, then a judge, and later mayor. Eventually, those political accomplishments led him to becoming a Texas representative to the federal Congress. Navarro's ability uh, as a uh, being a successful merchant and then uh, you know, a well-respected polit politician uh, earns him uh, his position in the community, earns his position among the other leaders in Texas at the time. He was one of two representatives to Coila y Tejas Congress in Saltillo, New Spain. He was known as empresario or entrepreneur, helping create grants and laws to develop the coastal bend. The laws that are passed to allow uh, the Texians to come and settle here, to get free land, uh, to get favorable laws for uh, cotton production and so forth are, are going to aid the Texians as well as it's going to aid the Tejanos because the Tejanos want, after all, the development of Texas. They want more population. The passing of laws in 1824 made it easier for people to get in from the central part of New Spain into Texas. And newly arriving immigrants from the American East were able to get help promoting their empresario grants. Stephen Austin, for example, comes to him and he says, we really need these laws to be placed, to be passed uh, so that uh, we can have uh, additional opportunities. He went on to pass several bills in the Mexican Congress. Rosalind Jimenez, KSAT 12 News. So in our final part of the series, airing next week, we're going to hear how historians compared Navarro to Stephen F. Austin, who is known as the father of Texas. If you're interested in visiting the Casa Navarro State Historic Site on Laredo Street, it's opening back up today from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can find all that information right now on KSAT.com.